Alrighty team, oldie but a goldie, we have our plank. Now, the plank has been used in probably every single program ever. It is a great exercise. We're building core stability. There are a few other benefits as well. However, what we're gonna go through today is a few common mistakes that we sometimes find. Maybe you've been fed some information that isn't quite right or a little bit contrary to what uh, it should be. However, we'll go through some common mistakes and of course, how to do it properly. And what I want to save your time is I'll show you how to do it properly first and then we'll move into the common mistakes just in case you are strapped for time. So with our plank, I like to give a few simple cues. First one is elbow stacked underneath the shoulder. The second one is pull the front of your hips up to your ribs, so hips to ribs and elbows to hips, so I'm pulling down. So what we're trying to do is create tension and force moving in basically to the belly button, let's say the belly button. That's where we're trying to aim for, compress as much as possible. Now with a plank, it's never gonna be completely flat. So if you see a little bit of rounding in someone's back and arch, uh, do not worry, that is completely fine. What we don't wanna see is a bit of a dip. So we don't wanna be going to extension, which is that arch in the back, sorry, that way. We can have some flexion, rounding. That's completely fine. So let's jump down. When we're starting off, I'm just gonna put my wrists here on the edge of the mat. It doesn't matter where you have yours. But as I said, we wanna make sure that elbows are stacked underneath the shoulder. From here, I'm trying to pull my hips, the top of my hips, up into my ribs, and I'm trying to then drive the elbows or pull the elbows down to the belly button or ribs again. From there, you should see there's a little bit of rounding in my back, so I've got that flexion, and you're probably seeing me squeeze the glutes. Now, that is what we want to be doing. It's quite tough. It should be. If you're able to just hold there and relax, not very good. We're not doing what we're meant to be doing. We're trying to create tension through that core. So, a couple of things you may see. When people are down in that plank, when they get fatigued, you might see that butt starting to raise. In this raised position, very, very hard to contract the abs. Can do it, but it's a bit hard. And very hard to be pulling those elbows underneath or towards the ribs. So we're no longer in that nice strong position. The next thing you may see is we start to get some arch or extension in the lower back. When you have extension in that lower back, guys, you're lengthening the abs. Now when we lengthen, we're not contracting, are we? So we wanna make sure we're contracting the abs. Now, to that end, your program may say you need to plank for 30 seconds, one minute, a minute 30, two minutes. If you are unable to contract the abs, so shorten them, and you're just hanging in extension, I would say stop, don't do any more, because all you're doing is holding a bad position. It's like being at the bottom of a squat, and you might have the bar in the back and you're rounded like this, it just looks super ugly. No point in doing that because it's potentially gonna to lead to injury. This won't, it just reinforces a bad movement pattern. So if you are, if you do have a set time, which most, most of the time you will, if you feel yourself going to that complete technical failure, just stop, it's fine. You've got uh, a time to work towards, you don't have to hit it every time, you may not quite be there yet, it's okay. Work towards it, so pull up when technical failure occurs, which is fine. So again, we want to make sure when we see guys, we're pulling those elbows down, top of the hip, we're pulling up to the rib cage, staying nice and tight. Bit of flexion in the back is all right, but we want to avoid, sorry, there we go, extension. We want to make sure we're keeping nice and tight. You're also squeezing your butt. It's very hard to come into that uh, hip, or sorry, drive the hips up, the top of the hip, what I should say, so the uh, anterior superior iliac crest, very hard to drive that up into the ribs if you're not squeezing the butt. So we're in that posterior tilt when we're in that plank. So how to do a plank, a few common mistakes. That's the best way to do it, guys. If you're hearing anything contrary, I would be surprised if you were from someone, um, if someone is telling you something different. 
If you do here, you've got to have a straight back, take that, take that arch or sorry, that rounding, that extension out of the back. I'd also be questioning that as well. Very hard to contract the abs, keep nice and tight and remain in a neutral spine. If I tighten my abs now, my gut, if I tighten that now, of course, I'm going into a little bit of flexion. You can't do it, it's just very hard. So don't be discouraged by having a bit of flexion in the back. Again, if we get extension, so that lower back uh, arching, creating that dip, then of course, we want to avoid that. It may be best in your program to cut it out altogether. So plank, common mistakes. Hope you learned something, guys. Very good.